because I saw <laughs> I saw this this tweet earlier on. It said uh, Stranger Things was British. <laughs> oh, a bit odd, didn't it? <laughs> a bit odd, didn't it? <laughs> a bit odd, didn't it? <laughs> like, fucking took me out. Dude. <laughs> I almost said to the chase, we're like, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, but like you need to see. You this. did it when your best you did your best Stephen Grant impression when you read it. Oh my god. <laughs> Jason Statham. You don't know me. <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> For real. Man. No, when he said Jason Statham, he he actually meant uh taking taking the those wires and t- putting it to his nipple and his tongue. Yeah. And mm-hmm. taking it taking it to a car battery. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah. And then putting it on my butt cheeks with little like I've never patches, actually right? seen Crank. I've seen it. I've done Crank. I <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I think I, I like, made the Whoa! mistake of watching it when it first came out. So I was like probably in middle school. <laughs> Ima- imagine, imagine my Jack Black Island looking ass, <laughs> all doped up on Crank. <laughs> Did you just call yourself an island Jack Black? Jack Black dude, what the hell? <laughs> My body frame, you know what I mean? My body frame. <laughs> but I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm. Let's be, let's be serious here for a second. You kind of are the island Jack Black. I'll take it. Jack Black gets bitches, dude. Jack Black gets he bitches. Does. He you does. know what I'm saying? Dude, I fucking love Jack Black. Like, That's what I'm saying. I, I love fucking jacking it in the black. What do you mean by that? And let's go ahead and uh, get ourselves on. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> from like Marshalls. It's like, just like <laughs> I just hold I just hold all of my stolen goods in a fanny pack. <laughs> With like sunflowers on it. You know what I mean? Like, like oh yeah, yeah. It's got a, it's not it's not like the plain back one. It's got like a pattern. Uh-huh. It, no, it's like one of the neon. It's like one of the neon pink like '80s style ones mm. that like tourists would have. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Esco says Garrick is his own yeah. GTA character. <laughs> I am. Uh, Xander, <laughs> how how are you doing this week? <laughs> I, was, I was doing good. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'm feeling, <laughs> now I'm scared for my life. Feel, feel well, little, real, though, I will be taking this off because it is hot as fuck. <laughs> Listen, I appreciate right. your your need to commit, uh, and I, I love you commit, forever for it. But, uh, I also but re- I I, hold on before you go though. I do also really appreciate the snapback on top of the mask. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's the so little things that count. Noticed. So mm-hmm. glad you've noticed. Of course, of course. Uh, All right, go, go take off uh, your mask. Go take, go take. Go take. It's too hot. <laughs> uh, Xander, <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Josh, did this. even when Josh is not here, he's plaguing our lives. You know what I mean? <laughs> that should be the thumbnail. That should. The, we just need a picture of of Garrett, like, just like close up. Right in dead center of the thumbnail for YouTube. Yep, yep, <laughs> that's it, dude. And then have the title completely different than what the picture is. It's just like it, it. It begs the question: like, if you were robbing a bank, what would you wear? You know what I mean? Like, let's not try to act like we'd wear anything better if we were robbing a bank. You know what I mean? Um, I don't know. I'm I'm more of the Halloween mask kind of guy. Yeah, that's your robber. That's your robber fit. It's the Halloween mm-hmm. mask. Yeah. What's what's the fit yeah. fit? Like what's what's the fit you're wearing with it? Oh, nothing telling. Nothing telling. I probably wear the same thing that I used to wear when I was in high school and I had nothing else to do for Halloween. So I just went as Nightwing, quote unquote, mm-hmm. um, which was literally just a long sleeve compression shirt, skinny black jeans, black boots. Um, and then like, I mean. To make it Nightwing, I I I cut out like a blue bird and stuck it on my Ooh. chest. Yeah, uh, yeah and then yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, that was about it. I I I'd like to think that Devin would wear like <clears throat> like the bandana and like a like a cowboy fit, You're like the the, mm-hmm. the the Western robber. You know, he's got the whole thing, but it's like his regular <laughs> street clothes. But he's got the holsters, and he's got like his jeans and his work boots. But then he's got like a bandana like around the half face. But you can still tell it's Devin, right? He's got the mullet in the back. Like, he does nothing else. Scott. He just looks like a, a Western bank robber. You know what I mean? I, I would want to say that I would do, like, like a entire body fit of, like, Oogie Boogie. What the fuck are you guys talking about? We're like, talking about what, what, we, what we would wear if we were robbing a bank as if, like, it would be any better than your bank robbing outfit, right? Oh, you know, honestly, that would have been the fit. That would have been the whole thing. No, exactly. That That's what I'm it. saying. So, like, we're, 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 we're figuring out, like, oh, like, our fits probably wouldn't have been any better, right? So I would just do an entire, like, oogie boogie onesie suit. Uh, but instead of, like, the hood over the head, it's just, like, a oogie boogie hat. This is really like a cap that's shaped like Oogie Boogie's head. And I wouldn't I wouldn't cover my face. I would just let I would just let it show. You, you would just be ridiculously identifiable. Yeah. Like. <laughs> <laughs> it's who robbed the bank, sir? That man. Like, it's that man right there. And I'm like, I'm like Oh my god! <laughs> you, you'll never catch me, copper. Like, you know, like the little, like you know, the little hat like jiggles when yep. you turn your head. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like waddling away because the suit's like too big. Like, <laughs> oh, but your documentary you, has you're just your documentary will have dip. you like Bigfoot footage. Oh my god, damn. <laughs> it was that man. <laughs> he's like, he's like rustling. He's like rustling under the bank counters, like un- behind the like behind the counters and you can't see him you can just hear like canvas on canvas <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Esco, i thought this was the butt tasting committee did i walk into the wrong stream absolutely not absolutely not it is the butt tasting committee yep, actually is. yeah we just do it in our bank robbing outfits yeah you don't need ass or taste butt in your bank mm-hmm. robbing outfit yeah exactly Devin just keeps the bandana on when he eats ass bandana you know what i'm saying it's cleaner that way because he likes to come up with weird ways to be clean, <laughs> like using a bidet. You know what I mean? 
<laughs> Here we go again. Very, very 300 BC, if you ask me. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, <laughs> 300 BC. Okay. Okay. <laughs> fucking cavemen just splash water in their fucking gooch. You know what I mean? It's a good. It's a good thing. Uh, it's a good thing we never established that you're the history guy. Here at Shipper. <laughs> I am actually. It's it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, like, I don't flaunt. Mm. I got that PhD mm. after I showed my, you know, oh, at the time oh, PhDs. Man. Yeah, and history guy stuff. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> uh 200 BC is a hundred years prior to that. That's when the French took over the uh uh the French Isles. <laughs> Pretty sure that hmm. <laughs> I don't know that Arnell understands how time work, everybody. <laughs> of course yeah. I do. I'm a PhD in history guy stuff. <laughs> tell me <laughs> tell me that like like this isn't like perfectly framed, right? The French were the first like beings <laughs> on this planet, okay? No. 200 BC. That's when mankind started, right? That's why it's called oh. that. Listen, uh, are you are you are you sure you, are you sure this PhD was the PhD that we think of, or are are you, they just saying that you were a pretty huge detriment to society with your fucking knowledge of history? <laughs> no, dude, it's pretty. It's it's pretty hard, doctor. That's what that stands for, okay? Uh, so <laughs> the 300 BC. <laughs> <laughs> pretty uh, pretty highly uh intelligent <laughs> the, the, the answer are intelligent uh <laughs> so that's what that is so and then in 200 bc there were cavemen just splashing water on their asses right and then in like <laughs> 100 bc uh mice took over the world it's crazy that's <laughs> restart the entire entire human populace uh, you know what i mean and then we evolved from mice it was great that's actually what plague you was about. you have single-handedly killed any chance we had of getting neil degrasse tyson to guest star on here i think he'd love it that shit you know sailed a long fucking time ago <laughs> <laughs> uh, did it though did it though you don't know yeah. maybe he's a goofy yeah. dude Dude, I bet you he would no, he'd probably love to talk to a bunch of freaking idiots like us. Or yeah. or or I'm Pretty right. Sure he sweet too. Or I'm right. And we don't know it. And Dude, he can I confirm that I'm right. Tyson. Are you shitting me? <laughs> Imagine if he was like, well, actually, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> he, he just like confirms some random bullshit you've been like conspiring like tinfoil uh -huh. hatting your whole uh -huh. life, and he's just like, actually that's real. And you're just like, what? <laughs> like, he confirms the crocodiles and shit. The <laughs> I forgot about that. Like, could you imagine? Like, like Devin, Devin's like on, and we and we have like Neil deGrasse Tyson as our fifth for for shipwreck, right? Uh, come on, and we're like laughing, girl, and Devin's like, yeah, Arnold's an idiot, and he thinks that like crocodiles migrated from Florida all the way over to the Pacific Northwest. How dumb is that, right? And Neil deGrasse Tyson's like. Well, uh, <laughs> you, was it laden you, or unladen? You, 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 <laughs> <laughs> it's always laden, Garrick, because this <laughs> is the shipwreck show where once a week, every week, three of the Brethren Corps gather together to discuss anything and everything the Seven Seas has thrown our way. If you're riding this wave, you can head on over to our Discord channel where soon you can submit questions and topics, get exclusive post show content, and have early access to episodes before they go live on podcast and video services but you can also support us by following or subscribing to good kraken right here at twitch.tv slash good kraken show or by subscribing to our youtube channel by clicking the link in our bio in order to get updates when new episodes go live everywhere <clears throat> and also too for context for everybody at home there's a massive backstory behind this crocodile thing uh, that we can get into. <laughs> uh, but first, Garrick. Yes, we have a captain's order, my friend. OK, so, oh. guys, uh, obviously, we've uh, we let people know this week that our content rollout is going to be a little, little bit weird going forward. Uh, just, a, just a little bit weirder than it has been for the past year. Uh, all of our content is live recorded on Twitch. And then we are now putting them out the very next morning, 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Our episodes go live on your on your podcast service of choice. But 
The schedule says eight right now, but that's only because I goofed it up. That's okay. That's, 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 next. that's okay. So, but I didn't know. I'm I'm still learning the new schedule too. That's, 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 We're gonna go through this okay. together. That's okay. We we learned a lot of things. Just like you knew the schedule. Crocodiles migrating to Oregon. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, uh, but <clears throat> what's next is the best question, and that is us. <clears throat> excuse me. Allowing you guys to be yeah, a part. Yeah. Of the content, and yeah, I know I gotta take a sippy sip. Mm. Yeah, mm. Mm -hmm. wash that down a little bit. Mm -hmm. I currently have hibiscus liqueur in this cup right now. Uh, I just got. I just I'm, got sorry, I'm sorry. Hold on. How do you pronounce it? Hi hibiscus liqueur. That's what. That's what it is. <laughs> like you sound like you're from New Orleans. <laughs> liqueur. <laughs> You sound like Foghorn Leghorn. La Clown. I got me a La Clown. Hibiscus. Listen here, boy. La Clown. La Clown. Let's go. I've been tipsy since 6 p.m. from happy hour. Oh, geez. You're going to have a good hey, night tonight. Let's go. Um, <clears throat> Cheers. So next, what we're doing is uh, we're allowing you guys to be a part of the content more proactively. So we are calling upon you guys. If you guys want to be a part of our content more frequently, subscribe to us right here at twitch.tv slash show. And what that does is when you join our Discord, you get unlimited access to be able to submit questions, topics, jokes, anything that you want in between uh, for us to talk about during content. You just check out our schedule for the week. If you see a headlining segment that you want to put in a question for, just drop that bad boy in the in the, in the Twitch subscriber chat room. You can just drop that bad boy in there. We'll we'll take that little that little thing, put it in our show notes, and say, hey, when we talk about this, we'll answer your questions. That's what we'll do. That's what we'll do. You may ask Ernell, what what's up with these uh what's up with these crocodiles? And I'll say that's a great question. That's a great question. What happened was the crocodiles. In Florida, okay, they found a way onto airplanes. And these airplanes, un unbeknownst to them, flew across the country. And the, the these crocodiles, I almost said gators, not the same thing. Not the same thing, right? So these crocodiles knew that they were coming, but they mistimed it. They were trying to get to the Pacific Ocean. They mistimed it. They jumped out and boom, landed right in the Willamette River. Over here, between Portland and Vancouver, Washington, okay? They waded their ways onto the shores. Just waded their ways on the shores. And now we have crocodiles living amongst us in the Pacific Northwest. Now, you might say, or no, that makes zero fucking sense, right? Zero fucking sense. Xander, say it. Say it. Makes zero fucking sense. Okay, sure, right? So, uh, any any highly intelligent person would say, dude, that you're fucking crazy, right? You're out of your goddamn mind, okay? And to you, I would say, nay! Nay, my friend. Because here's the deal. Involved in this? <clears throat> here's the deal, right? Scientists know about these, know about these crocodiles, okay? They know about these crocodiles. These haven't done, they haven't been able to prove that these crocodiles exist, Right? So anybody would be able to say, like, that doesn't have you don't see crocodiles in Oregon, Ernell, you fucking whack job. And I would be like, of course, they're here. They only come out at night, you fool. <laughs> they're nocturnal. They only come out at nighttime. They're hiding during the fucking day. OK, that's why scientists yeah. can't find these crowd. Nobody knows about these crowds. They're hiding yeah. during daytime. You can't see mm -hmm. them. It's common it's true. sense, guys. It's the common elusive, sense. The uh, elusive Willamette crocodile is, uh, is, is notoriously nocturnal. Well, see, that's that's the funny thing. The original name was Willamette crocodile, but then they were like, mm -hmm. well, they aren't in the Willamette. We don't see these things anywhere. We don't see them fucking anywhere, right? <laughs> I was cracked, sorry. I mean, I'd hope <laughs> not. <laughs> that's <clears throat> their business, though. Yeah, because they're nocturnal. You don't see them anywhere, right? <laughs> but... <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah yeah i know i know i uh i gotta keep it together here uh so <laughs> um these crocodiles nocturnal nobody can find them okay uh they actually changed the name of these crocodiles because they're not in the willamette river anymore they're not okay they changed their names to the corvai crocodile 
because they specifically live in Corvallis. And the French, who were taking over in 300 BC, they knew, well, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, Andrew, go ahead. Carry on. <laughs> <laughs> and that's it. Now we have a mass population of the Corvai alligator. Um, <clears throat> and uh, and nobody, nobody sees them. They're nocturnal. You still can't find them during the daytime. But they come out at night. They're here at night. Motionless and okay. White made a song about them. And there's a movie, too, that says, <laughs> talks about them, too. Mm -hmm. So you said, uh, when, when, when was this uh, French uh, 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 takeover? Approximately, uh, approximately 305 B.C. is like when. Uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. When was the U.S. founded? <laughs> oh, oh, dude. <laughs> like. 310 bc come on like that's that's just cakewalk stuff you know what i mean at the time okay, when crazy was the louisiana enough. purchase oh that's like two, that was way that was way way after dude that was way okay. after you know what i'm saying way after like 115 bc you know what i mean so you're saying portland was already established <laughs> yes it was actually uh, initially pronounced uh portland <laughs> Under the reign of the French. <laughs> <laughs> the reign. The reign. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then, see, the funny thing, too, is that they actually saw these crocodiles first, and they were like, Corvai, and they like, spit all the ground. Oh, uh, guys. We have our first listener question tonight. We're just going to move oh, right on well. from, uh, from the Corvai uh, crocodile. Look it up. Look it up. You won't find anything because they're nocturnal, but look. <laughs> I feel like it should be your mission at this point to make a Wikipedia page for that. <laughs> I'm, I'm surprised you, you haven't like done so yet. Fucking like a, a, a legit like cryptid. Uh, okay. <clears throat> okay. Okay. <clears throat> Xander giving me ideas. <laughs> Josh and Chad butts. <laughs> don't they taste like ass? They sure do. They sure do, Josh. You oh, holy baby. shit, Josh! You missed it, man. Josh. Oh, he he'll he'll get it. He'll get it back. He'll yeah, get it will. back. I'm sure. We have we have a uh, an ad break later on. I'm sure he'll be able to pop mm -hmm. in. You know what I'm saying, guys? Our first listener question comes from one Cameron T, who says, "Quote: The Hubble Web Telescope thing is the coolest thing to happen in years. Do you guys believe that life on another planet is closer than we originally thought?" Absolutely. Yeah. So do you, do you, Absolutely. did you guys like follow that shit closely? Like what had happened with the, the telescope stuff, like why it was so important. Uh, uh not necessarily. I, I, I just watched the video today. In most of, go ahead. Sorry. Later. Oh no, you're good. Polite ass bitch. <laughs> Fine. I guess I'll take over I, that. I, right? <laughs> I just only kind of saw it. And I, mo I mostly saw images. I didn't like rather than like the articles behind the photographs. Okay, sure, 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 sure. So to mm -hmm. kind of make a very long convoluted sciencey story short, because I'm a science guy and I could get complex about it, but I won't. Uh, <clears throat> uh, but on actually some real shit, because I do actually love like, like astrology, things like that. Or, Astronomy, excuse me, <laughs> astrophysics, all that shit. I do like it. Oh, um, uh, by the by the way, I'm a Pisces, just in case you were wondering. Oh, I do. Yeah, that's why we're such good friends, actually. <laughs> yeah, because I'm a Taurus. I'm just joking. I'm a Gemini. I'm just joking. I'm a Scorpio. No, I'm just joking. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so. So Gemini of you? <laughs> jokes on you. No, I'm just joking. I'm, I'm a Gemini. I'm a Gemini. <laughs> I'm a cancer to this group, Esco. I'm a cancer to this group. Uh, so. It was cool because they had found a uh, a galaxy, a small galaxy mm -hmm. that had so much gravity in it <laughs> yep, yep. that they were able to take their telescope, look into that galaxy, aim it right in the middle of that galaxy and effectively use the gravity in that galaxy to take their telescope and telescope it further behind that galaxy. Mm -hmm. So this galaxy yes. is at like effectively like one of the most edge peak of where the the Hubble, the hub telescope can like take. Um, 
the the Webb telescope. Webb and Hubble. Yeah, sorry. I uh, uh, no. yeah, I was combining the names. <laughs> the Webble. <laughs> <laughs> the wide webble uh so it, it's like at the edge of its like like distance that i can like see pretty clearly on so finding that yeah. galaxy perfectly placed right there and being able to basically uh, galactically attach a telescope to their telescope and then see now here's the fucking crazy part right this telescope can see like five light years ahead right it's that's fucking far that's far as shit okay this galaxy because of its gravitational pull was able to telescope it to 13 light years ahead 13 here okay hold on let me let me i'm gonna do some you continue on i'm gonna do some fact checking because i well, actually legit just watched that's it oh, okay that's, that's i legit just watched um a video this morning on uh on these video or these photos uh so basically in in a nutshell the gravitational pull from this this cluster of galaxies uh was able to bend light in such a way that we yes. could even see further yes. um i'm yes. trying to let me see here uh it was towards the end of this video here uh what does he say here the core of ie alligator was out there and it was yeah the core to, yep yeah mm-hmm mm-hmm there's actually a By sun. By the way, 13, uh, 13, 13 light years is like, uh, it's like, that's like seven quadrillion that's miles. Fucking far, dude. It's fucking far, man. Okay. Like, <laughs> and they, and they it's found more, dude. They found more. That's fucking dope as shit. Like, Cameron's like right on the fucking T here. Like, he, so some of these, some of these, these folks I get because I do like AB testing on like Reddit and stuff. And so usually I'll go into like forums and be like, hey, back again you guys want to drop some questions for this things and they usually come in like give us random shit and they're all fucking here for it they're all fucking here for it um <clears throat> cameron specifically uh brought this on the thing and i was like oh that has to be one right because i fucking love this shit this shit's so fucking cool to me uh xander go ahead you raise your hand go ahead oh no uh so i had just gotten the number so essentially this is this effect is called gravitational lensing yes um Let's see, what was the actual distance? Hold on. Hold on. So with with the gravitational lensing in that in that image uh that you're talking about, it's uh roughly four point six billion light years. Oh, even better <laughs> yeah even better so it's even Fine further than that. we fucking realized yeah that's yeah. dude well because a lot of times especially a lot of the the so the redder uh like images that you see those are actually like the furthest ones yes um and yeah. the ones that you see that are kind of like like flattened almost mm -hmm. those are full galaxies and yeah. now when and you look at you look out at this you look at this cluster like how 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 do you even mm -hmm. potentially even think that we are the only life forms right 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 now the bigger the even bigger question here so he asked is life on another planet closer than we thought like mm -hmm. that is so much star <laughs> that we saw like we saw active so much space planets or like stars actively potentially becoming planets, right? Like that's what we saw mm -hmm. through this this lensing. Th like, dude, mm -hmm. yes, yes, of course. I think it's closer than we thought because, like, this was a once in a, a race opportunity because we've obviously been around since 300 BC, right? So it's crazy. Uh, <clears throat> this was a once in <laughs> once in a earthly lifetime chance to be able to see like what is within reach right like how big is this scale actually um and with how much we saw how much we now know of what are the chances that we're the only plant that's habitable like actually habitable like slim to fucking none dude there has to be another planet that is like capable of housing humans on it there has to be. I played mm -hmm. No Man's Sky, okay? There has to be. 
<laughs> I don't know. Garrick, we've been ra Garrick, Xander and I obviously were into this shit, right? But Garrick, what do you think? Uh, I don't know. I definitely believe uh, I'm I don't know when it comes to like this stuff. I very much am like a believer in like the Fermi paradox when it comes to like mm, extraterrestrial okay, so life. Now you, you have to explain that to the people at home. Otherwise, they're not going <laughs> to fucking understand you. Yeah, because me and you are like, oh, yeah, fuck yeah, dude. But no, you. Yeah. <laughs> so the Fermi, the Fermi paradox is essentially and I literally have the Wikipedia page up because I'm not super smart guy. So sure. I'm going to use this. Assistance. Unlike me, who is so a uh, pretty yeah, it, who's highly. A science guy intelligent guy in history watch guy, out he's apparently. a pretty huge deal thank you no uh <laughs> so basically the fermi paradox is the is like the conflict of the lack of like evidence on yes. our planet that extraterrestrial life exists mm -hmm. and the overwhelmingly high probability that we are or the overwhelmingly low probability that we are the only sentient life in the universe like if you thinking that is just astronomically like dumb <laughs> like, right right, it, right, like, right. It's, so like it's just the probability that uh, the other life is so ridiculously high right that why why don't we have clear evidence it's like it's the conflict of like obviously it exists but something is something out there in the big wide universe of things going on they either have this, this, and this is where like my personal opinions come in, right? Right. I think that we're either like they have visited us, done their piece and gone, or mm. they have like viewed our planet from afar and said, "Fuck that! These guys need work and left." Like <laughs> right, straight up. right, right. They lensed and back they, and they were like, "Uh, -uh. no, no, mm -mm. no, exactly. <laughs> no, 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 no." Like that's kind of <laughs> how I feel about it. Like honestly, like they they absolutely exist. It's just like I believe that like we're we're in like such a stage of our development that like if there was a nearest star that would wanted to contact us that had similar to technology to us, we could. If we have telescopes that can travel like see things like billions of light years away, like we can get communications out into space and we have, but nothing's ever or nothing like conclusive has ever returned, right? And so like either like Everyone's just like, eh, they're calling again. It was like, you know, like one, like they're one night standing us. We're just like, it was just a thing. Like quit it. Like we get it. We've got some pyramids in Egypt. Like, don't worry about it anymore. Uh, or like, they're like literally like waiting for us, to like figure our shit out so that like, it would be an appropriate time for us to visit and our brains don't explode because we, we can't, we can't get human rights correct around here. What do you think we would do with other life? Right, dude. Right. Like, come on. Now, okay, so actually, before I before I ask my question, uh, Twitch.tv's It's Xander. You raised your hand earlier. Go ahead. Yes. So, what if... Now, I'm just playing devil's advocate here. This is this is not something I genuinely believe in, but... The core of say there is alligator a higher, is real. Yeah, real. Say, say, it, yeah, say there's a higher power, the alligator, right, uh, that decided... Let's say, I'm not just going to create one planet. I'm going to create a bunch of planets and just scatter them. Right. So we're with all these all these habitable planets developed roughly around the same time. Who's to say that all that some of these other have um, these other planets that do have life on them are just as a, just, you know, technologically advanced as we are. And right. they haven't gotten to the capability. So we're like we're like trying, but we just haven't met in the middle just yet. See, for me, like I would I would grasp that myself. But to me, like, it makes far smaller sense to assume that all of it happened at the same time. You know what I mean, because it's like if we're if we're able to say that there's other planets, other stars mm -hmm. that are not quite as developed as Earth 616 is. Right. Uh, <clears throat> for the sake of, you know, IRL. Right. Uh, uh, not as quite okay. as developed as our planet. It would be safe to assume. I hear you, Kevin. <laughs> it'd be safe to assume that there's other planets that are far more developed. Because to me, it 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 wouldn't make sense in the greater scale of things that all of it happened at once, right? But it also doesn't mm -hmm. make sense to me that we are as important as we like to think we are. Mm -hmm. And that mm -hmm. and that's the part where I'm like, 
it, it can't it can't be at the same time as us, right? Because like we're minuscule as fuck on the in the big great big ocean that we now see is 13 million light years wide potentially in both directions. 26 million light years is what we know billion. about with a B. billion. 26 billion light years across the whole thing is just what we know about, right? And as we Barely. just talked about, it's fucking huge. That's a lot. That's a lot of fucking land to cover here okay you're like it just doesn't like compute in my brain that all of that happened at the same time right oh, no, no no dude okay especially no, it's like, like if you're looking paint. at this from like if you're like looking at that if you're like looking at it from like the lens especially because like Xander was looking at it from like the lens of like there was a creator right like right, somebody right. sure sure like, sure birth the like, one above all I, exactly so like if you were looking at it from that lens I, lens I honestly believe that like Humans are like a science project, like one of many. Mm. Right. Why do you think we get sunburned? <laughs> <laughs> you ever heard that conspiracy I, theory? Uh, yes. <laughs> I hate it. I had, so I had, it's uh, dumb. Uh, in it's a nutshell, so dumb. The, the in a nutshell, the conspiracy theory is that humans were actually not originally from this planet and we were dropped off. That's why uh, our bodies are susceptible to the the radiation from the sun, yeah, yeah, ridiculous. That's stupid. No, it's dumb. Uh, it's, dumb. <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking dumb. I heard that. And I like. Dumb. I literally choked on my water when I read that. Uh, so dumb. But no, honestly, yeah. If like if we're looking at it from that lens, especially especially which fits into the lens of like in the realm of like obviously like this didn't happen at the same time. Like we would have been like a progression of something. We're like, yeah, that planet didn't work out. Or like, hey, let's see what happens if they're all fish people this time. You know, and like, that's 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 how like that's like my head canon of like how God created the universe. Guy, like, there was a guy. <laughs> that was a guy. <laughs> is that what he was? That what you called him? You called him guy? No, I said that's my that's my head canon. If there was a God, God. Okay, then, I thought yes. You, if I thought... there was a God, that's how. God went about creating the universe. I thought, like, I thought you I said really in my like, head canon, Guy created the universe. I was like, Guy? guy <laughs> His yes. name's yeah, guy. guy Fieri. Flavor Town. Bye bye. Exactly. He's just like, Galaxy here. <laughs> just a little we're sprinkle all, of yeah, galaxy. We're all, all living in Flavor Town all the time. This all is the Guy's time. universe. That was, that was the secret. Uh, that was the secret. <laughs> yeah, that's but it. But like, no, like, it would just like, it would just be like, like, a blip like there's like oh like let's just try this sometime like it'll sprinkle a little salt on it you know mm -hmm. like see if it tastes mm -hmm. different this time around like, like the that's way what for i would that's what like i would imagine like if there was like a, a an entity that created the universe that's how i imagine that would have gone down yeah now garrick in your in your um uh 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 one one could say your perpetuity of aliens came they're like fuck that and they left Right. Do you do you not believe that in any come current day? So that's where like that's where like the Fermi paradox thing comes in. Like, right. right? right. Like we're now in modern day and we have all of this. Like we have far more surveillance technology than ever mm -hmm. available before. Mm -hmm. Like ev literally everybody is walking around with a video recorder at all times. Yes. At all times, you're telling me there are seven billion people on this planet. I know people that don't have homes that have cell phones and seven billion people and not one motherfuckers captured a picture of an alien at this point. Hmm. Hmm. And, right. It's a little sus. But, you know, but then that, that goes on to the like the, the theory of just like how much if they are out there, how much more advanced are they than us? And do they have the capability to pass as like human in right. our society that's what, or something that's what I'm or something adjacent to it right yeah like they don't necessarily have to be human and bipedal yeah they can be like insects be, like vincent d'onofrio yeah, yeah they could be quadrupeds jesus christ they could be quadrupeds they could Water. be like honestly they could be literally it's like something as simple as like a sentient like a different evolutionary path and it's like a sentient dog or a sentient cat or like, or, but like they maintain oh, like fucking love that. Feature. Do, you know something like that right like they but they have the capability or the technology like either genetically or like technology wise to like passes us Dude, but like, ima it's just imagine weird. you go to adopt a dog and it happens to be like a visitor from just another Cosmo. planet and, and yeah and then you start talking to it and you're like dude i feel you like, what the f 
Dude, even better. What if like these like sentient alien dogs and cats were exactly how you picture them in your head? Like you go to like meet this dog, you're like, oh hey boy, I'm gonna take you home. He's like, you're gonna take me home? And he's like, <laughs> he's like a fucking stupid alien. But you see the cat, it's like standing at the top of the gate. And it's like, <laughs> riddle me this human. It's like a sphinx, just like, <laughs> like you, you have to you have to uh, answer its riddle correctly with a third eye. You have to answer its riddle correctly, or you can't take it home. It'll like scratch the shit uh, out I'm of you. I'm pretty sure you're describing. <laughs> oh, the uh just... the plot to cats versus dogs <laughs> fuck man <laughs> yeah. could be. Could be. oh shit he's he's on the secret life of pets secret life of pets <laughs> oh my god dude <laughs> but, oh, no, it's man. just weird knowing that like look 60 percent of the people like around in at least in our country have a ring doorbell like have like a security doorbell and like most people have, I have at least I have two security cameras on my house and like I have a security doorbell and like it's just like there's just so much surveillance of literally everything all of the time that it's just weird that we haven't seen much. And then also we could go to like the Pacific Rim theory, right? We're like the ocean gets involved. It's a lot of ocean because, we haven't discovered yet. Guys. There's a whole hell of a lot of that. Like, OK. All right, tinfoil hats. All right. NASA was originally founded in 250 BC. It's crazy. Yeah. Yeah, NASA was originally founded in 250 BC for the sole purpose of ocean exploration. And now we're trying to get the fuck off this rock. That's all I'm saying, all right? That's all we're saying. That's all. I just watched Xander's mind get fucking blown. <laughs> well, I just watched in real time Xander's brain get melted because I don't think you ever thought of it that, that way, did you? No. <laughs> it's true. And now, like, and now I'm was thinking originally for like, like ocean the, exploration. I'm yeah. just thinking for like the first four years of my Coast Guard career being out on the open ocean, like. Mm -hmm. Oh fuck! Why do you think us Islanders what, found what was islands down there? We we were supposed yeah. to be merfolk, but we found islands. Like we we were supposed to be what Little Mermaid was yeah. about, but nope. Yeah. The fish, the fish that crawled out of the water mm -hmm. was Polynesian people escaping whatever the fuck was down there. Yep. Like <laughs> yep. we were originally Atlanteans, and then that happened. And they said, "Nah." That's why we have brown skin like Mediterraneans. <laughs> you think it's because the equator? Nope. Nope. <laughs> No, nope, we saw my ancestors saw some shit the down there. The connected. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, I actually like to think of the idea that if extraterrestrials legitimately visited us, that's where we have various mythologies and religions. I, I really like to think that. That's like my own headcanon for that. Like, I really, I enjoy that idea. Uh, the fact that, you know, like there's a sun god. Well, no, it was just an alien coming to visit you guys. And he he just came on a sunny fucking day and gave you guys some Living like that eternal re theory. resources. Mm. Yeah, well, yeah kind of like the Eternals. Yeah. Like, yeah. That's, that's why yeah, I actually sort of genuinely thing. really enjoyed the Eternals movie because that played up on something that I already really enjoy about mythology, you know? Right. Your head cannon for life. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there, what's, yeah, it, what's, really cool to think. what's to say it's not both these things, though, right? Like, what if, what if, like, aliens did come down and they were these higher beings to us in 500 B.C. before we could comprehend anything, right? Because uh, we were not washing our asses with water quite yet, right? We were using, like, leaves and shit. Uh, <clears throat> crazy. It's crazy stuff. Uh, when we met these gods and then, like, one day we killed the last unicorn and these dudes were like, bro, what the fuck? fuck and we were like ah, unicorn horn <laughs> and they were like dude like what the fuck is wrong with y'all and so yeah they were just like we're fucking out dude y'all y'all killed unicorns you killed dragons you killed dire wolves you killed anything that is fucking cool about this planet all gone because you guys are selfish like, fucks you sparked like a side conversation in my head that i want <laughs> <laughs> like, mine's, mine, mine's just a quick thing mine, mine's just a quick jab sure, at sure. a certain company uh the discovery channel you guys had no business making a fake documentary about finding fucking dragon fossils yeah way back when i was a kid uh -huh. that i yeah. i believe that shit yep i Dra believe that shit dragon tales dragon tales <laughs> no no okay all right i was gonna 
the theme song. I'm so pissed off. I dude. wish I'm I still, wish. Obviously, I'm still pissed heart, off to this day. That I could fart with dragons. Fart, fart, fly fart. with dragons in a land of pirates. Fart, fart, fart. That's how the song goes, right? Fart, fart, fart. Damn, you guys actually sort of remember that. To that's, fly that's with dragons the... and fart, fart, fart. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Speaking of farts, though, we're going to move into our next listener questions, guys. But before we move on to our next listener questions, I want to remind everyone that they can support us over on our Discord channel, where they can get early access on this episode before it goes public. They can ride on the show, and they can get this episode ad free but if you're hearing this they aren't on our discord so for now here's a word from our sponsors this piece of good cracking content is brought to you by glide mouse pads the world is changing and the demand for pc gaming and work from home setups has never been as wild as it is right now having the best of the best in pc accessories only makes it easier to get your work done before you jump right back into the fray of the digital sea and Glide knows exactly how to make it happen for you. Glide Mouse Pads is the future industry leader in mouse pads, offering beautiful, smooth, and waterproof products made with eco-friendly materials and non-slip rubber in a variety of sizes that are guaranteed to help you get the next win. Is your battle rug just looking a little crusty? Is the mouse just not as smooth as it used to be? Or are you just looking to get rid of that ergonomic mouse pad your grandma got you for Christmas? Well, then I think we have the mouse pad for you. You can go to GlideMousePads.com right now and use code Kraken for 15% off the Founders Edition mouse pad in every size available. Again, that's code K-R-A-K-E-N, Kraken, for 15% off any Founders Edition mouse pads today. Our next sponsor is Rogue Energy. Late nights are pretty much commonplace for us content creators, and any of us here at GK can attest that sometimes you're just too damn tired to even think about how not to be tired anymore. Lucky for us though, Rogue has figured out how to give us those late nights and even earlier mornings, the supercharge we all need. Rogue Energy is a low calorie, no sugar energy formula that is the perfect alternative to sugar filled canned energy drinks and sodas. Every formula Rogue Energy produces is designed with optimal levels of high quality ingredients and no chalky textures. Being the only gaming drink company in the world with four unique product lines to suit your task at hand, Rogue Energy strives to improve that in-game performance of gamers, streamers, and content creators everywhere. Look, I love this stuff. I've got two tubs at home right now. Your boy is drinking on some caramel vanilla latte in the mornings and sipping on some mango pineapple throughout the day. And if you are wondering how you can get these two dope flavors, well, I'm gonna tell you. You can head over to RogueEnergy.com and use code GKraken for 10% off your purchase on any shaker or formula tub of your choosing. That is G-K-R-A-K-E-N for 10% off any shaker or formula tub of your black. And now back to your regularly scheduled Good Kraken content. Aliens. Uh, Aliens. <laughs> I had to get, get my hair all fucked up for it. Oh, no, that looked better. That looked better. Than <laughs> <laughs> Aliens. <laughs> Aliens, there we go. Jesus Christ. I, had, I went from uh, from uh, from uh, History Channel to Tom DeLong in like half a second. It was like, oh, he, looks, he believes in aliens, but he looks all right. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Mom, there's something <laughs> in the back room. <laughs> Hope it's not the creatures from above. Yep. Where are you, aliens? <laughs> that's, what, that's what he meant. That's what he wrote originally. Dude, and, uh, that song I was just singing is about aliens. Yep. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. I know. Yeah. Well, see, Mark was uh, at first. He was like, "No, dude, like, we're not fucking doing that, right?" But then eventually, he was like, "Okay." <laughs> I dude, see. Has, has anyone checked in on Mark aliens. recently? Uh he pretty typically posts all the time on Instagram, if I remember correctly. I'm sure, I'm sure if there was something wrong, everyone would know. I promise you. I promise. Well, I mean, he came out. Did, um, you know what I'm referring to, right? Well, he has cancer. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I, was, I was just wondering how he's doing. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure he's doing okay. When, when the day comes that he ends up in the hospital, we will know. I'm sure. We will know. Yeah. We will know. Okay. We, we found out when fucking just about every other, like, major person ended up in the hospital short of Chadwick Boseman because apparently he kept that shit low key like a fucking champion dude god damn rest in peace yeah. rest in peace to you yeah Chad. dude rest mm-hmm. in power god damn god damn guys let's get into our tier two questions here we have either mm-hmm. IRL adventures or 
the hook line. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know why when you said that second one, I my mind was immediately drawn to Texas in July. Oh. Bang, 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 bang. Good band, yeah. Hook line and singer. Mm-hmm. Uh, hook line and center. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Xander, mm. what's your vote? IRL Adventures. Okay. All right. Garrett. Uh, yeah, IRL Adventures. All right. I'm going to go with IRL Adventures too. All in favor, say aye! Aye! aye. aye. Dylan Lance writes in just like you can to twitch.tv slash show and our Discord channel. And he says... You guys talked about being Transformers, but to celebrate the new Dungeons and Dragons movie, what mythical creatures would each of you want to be? Oh, OK. Hold on. I got to do some. I got to do some research. All right. I need a moment to to look up a bestiary. Excuse me. <laughs> Please give me a second. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, while you guys do your studying here, OK, I'm going to put out my let's let's do let's do like two each right like two that we could pick from and then like the gods above can like roll the dice on those two for us you know what i'm saying um i my first one i want to i would think it would be fucking dope to be a minotaur okay in my like my size and like my like overall (laughs) personality i think being a minotaur would be fucking dope dude uh except if you're a minotaur like in a maze right because then you're like a labyrinth then you're fucked you know oh saying? yeah no that's another way to go you're like god i'm no, so no fucking hungry where are all the humans like <laughs> <laughs> meat. uh Z- oh that's good says hydrate huh? mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. oh yeah mm-hmm. there's even mm-hmm. mm-hmm. xander mm-hmm. do you have do you have your first pick you want to throw out uh no i am uh, so I am what you one would call Dungeons and Dragons illiterate. Uh, uh, I don't. Yeah. I don't think it necessarily um, has to be a Dungeons and Dragons canon. Creature. No, just I just a just a myth. Any sort creature, of mythological. I mean, creature, honestly, you know? honestly, okay. I see. I see the Harry Potter tattoo you got. Honestly, and like draw from there, my friend. Those are mythological. I mean, uh, most, most of the Harry Potter creatures are, are based are, on exactly. Yeah, cultural exactly. cultural creatures. So, mm-hmm. um, honestly, we love you. Uh, have a good night. I've always been very infatuated with the Griffin. Hey, let's mm. go. Griffin's mm. fucking cool, dude. That's a cool choice. Yeah, the Griffins are dope. It's a dope choice. First creature to die in The Witcher 3. Yeah. First creature you kill. Yeah. True enough. Yeah. True enough. Mm-hmm. I mean, he goes down like a badass, though. You know what I'm saying? He has a hard time with it. Griffin's yeah, I, 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 had a hard time. I had a hard time with that shit. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> oh, I remember you watching it. Uh, yeah, watching you take him down, actually, the Griffin. Yeah. yeah, I mean, like, I, I'll I'll double your Griffin and say maybe even a Manticore would be fucking cool for you. So a Manticore, if you don't know what that is, that is a uh, lion, eagle, mm-hmm. scorpion. So it's like a, a, yeah. lion, a lion body with like an eagle head and eagle wings, but its tail is a scorpion tail. Fucking dope. Well, yeah, that's, uh, that's this one, tie. the original one, the original one right here has the head of a human or a head of a man oh for uh for a manticore yeah mm-hmm. yeah this is mm-hmm. this is like both like metal as fuck but also kind of creepy oh my god oh my god yeah yeah so manticore is oh. funny enough i oh mean there, there's there's some talk to say that manticores were on this planet why does this one be... look like Lee schreiber <laughs> <laughs> He's I mean, hey, he he is saber tooth, so it makes sense. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, what like the, it, it, it is said that the Egyptians could have potentially thought manticores were sphinxes. I'm just saying. Yeah, I'm just saying. I actually really like the manticore from uh, from uh, uh, onward. Oh, yeah, that's a good one. That's she's good. Dope. she's fucking she's great, dope. dude. She's fucking good, dude. Garrick, what about you? What's your fir- what's your first pick? Dude, I think honestly, it's actually really hard. There's just like so many cool ones that you could just think of. That like you're just like, yep. Yeah, if I had to be one, I'd probably want to be one of these. Uh, I think as as like a safe of a of like a choice as it might sound, dude. I would absolutely, absolutely be a dragon. Yeah, what kind? What kind oh, of thinking, dude? Uh, like okay, it's like classic take, like gonna... Western. Or like, Ooh. uh, 
Yeah, probably like classic Western, like like uh like very like Smaug, like think Smaug. Yeah, yeah, Reign of Fire, yeah. Ass Dragon. Yeah, yeah, yes, yes, yeah, very like a very traditional Western, like medieval Gothic. Yeah, yeah, Rhaegar, Dragon, yep. like, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yep, yep. I like it. That's a good choice. That's a good choice, dude. Yeah, dragons are fucking. I mean, imagine if we had, <laughs> imagine dragons, right? Imagine dragons. <laughs> dude, imagine dragons. <laughs> imagine uh, fucking dragons, dude. I don't uh, think, I don't think I'd be like a traditional, like, like I'm not like a fire, not fire breathing though. I'd be something else. You want to be like an ice dragon, dude? Be a water dragon? Uh, no, uh, no, dude. I was actually, th- I was thinking lightning, actually. Lightning dragon. Ooh, like a lightning dragon. okay. Like a thunder dragon. Okay, I like that. Like Rayquaza. The, yeah. <laughs> like Rayquaza, exactly. I mean, yeah, not, dude. not that, not the shape, because that's more Eastern dragon in appearance. Yeah, but. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. The, the long swirl. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. But, I mean, those are still yeah. cool. Like Shang Chi, like made those things look dope as shit. Uh, oh, <clears> absolutely, <throat> absolutely. But the Western dragons are definitely I would like totally be that one. Those things are fucking horrifying. Uh, I think, I think for my second is the one that I'm really hoping that the day I, the dice lands on. And you guys can't see it, but like. Here I have like a big octopus on my neck, big big quadruped, right? You know what I'm the kraken, octopad. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. uh, yes, Octopi? I uh, on my jawline here because my beard's covering it. It says Leviathan across mm-hmm. my my jawline. So I'm thinking mm-hmm. the Leviathan mm-hmm. has to be the one I want to go for here. Now the question is, what kind of Leviathan? Because he's in a little a lot of Leviathan takes in media, right? There is the mm-hmm. classic just big shark thing with octopus legs on it. We've seen a massive fucking crab looking thing. We've seen a big like whale looking thing with like crab arms. We've seen a whale with octopus legs, right? Uh I I raise you all of the above. <laughs> what a what giant... about the one from Atlantis? Oh the like robot looking crab like lobster thing. Oh that thing's fucking yeah. Thing's fucking yeah, cool. with the, like, the glow with like, like the glowing like sigils on it. Mm-hmm. Because Leviathans have been depicted like just so many ways, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, like mm-hmm. like it's, it's also like the biblical as, like, an Leviathan, octopus right? or a squid or like a, a great serpent. I, like, I what form would what form would your Leviathan take? I I like the concept of like massive, massive, massive like whale serpent. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Like picture that in your head, right? I can picture it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Dude, that'd be that'd be kind of creepy looking with lobster tail. You know Dude, could you Lobster. imagine like? Could you imagine like swimming up on that bitch though? On God damn! Yeah, mm-hmm. Like I'm, I'm saying, like this thing's the size of like a pretty big fucking creature. Like, like I'm like I'm picturing a fucking three towers. You know what I'm saying? Like lined up in front, like that kind of big. That's what I want. Be a massive sea creature that everybody talks about the rest of their fucking days. That's what I want. Gets real lonely down there, boys. Real lonely. <laughs> Trying to live out sea beasts. Mm-hmm. Yep. Just like eating <laughs> kelp, just endless amounts of kelp down there in Mariana's oh. trench, and I'm just like, yeah, I shared, I shared, I shared an image in uh, staff chat. It's so dark down here. <laughs> so Xander, yeah, uh, that's that's kind of how I imagined it a little bit. Dark, Lo- oh. much longer, much longer than yeah. that, but like same appearance. Here we go. I'll open this for mm-hmm. the for the people at home here. Uh, so we have that's actually surprisingly like what I pictured in my head different mouth i pictured a different mouth for sure but this is uh, where'd you get this from xander i literally just googled uh, leviathan and went to images and as you're describing it i looked for one that was close to what you uh so, what you were describing so this is cool there's because a, a I, I remember on another piece of our content i was sort of explaining like like my leviathan thing to somebody at some point or another mm-hmm. But this is like what I was expressing. So there's like a, a movie or like a fan movie or like a short of some kind or like a trailer for a movie that never came out that had like airships and these airships are having to fight air leviathans, like massive, massive creatures that had came out of the sea mm. and they can suddenly now learn how to fly. And they were having air combat against these massive fucking creatures. And this is literally what we're fucking looking at right now. Uh, sign me up. You know what I'm saying? Sign me up. Imagine that in your toilet. That's me. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> Imagined. Imagine dragons. 
<laughs> yes, exactly. Exactly. So, Xander, what's your second pick, my guy? Um, so I'm bringing this up for for Pod Mom Genesee. And um, also because I've always been infatuated with this mythological creature, the werewolf. Good choice. I, I love choice. werewolves. Werewolves are fucking cool, dude. Fucking cool, man. Not not the quarry ones. Uh, spoiler alert, by the way. Um, that wolf. <laughs> those ones look that like wolf. skinwalkers. No. Um, okay, hold on. If I may, just to kind of piggyback this conversation, just a little bit, if I might. Uh, werewolves was also going to be my next one Let's uh, go. because oh. werewolves, werewolves over vampires forever. Lichens are uh, fucking yes. dope, baby. Let's go. One hundred and ten percent. Like, dude, if I literally like, if I could just choose any mythological creature to outright be like, period, period, like a lycanthrop would like honestly be it. Like, yeah, so one hundred ten percent. So cool. I mean, surreal, surreal says Xander lies. So surreal. Also, we're talking currently. <laughs> he loves Edgar Cole. <laughs> oh, fuck out of here. Say it. Say it. Vampire. All right. So <laughs> surreal. We're currently talking about what mythological creature creatures we would want to be. Um, so I, for my main one, I said Leviathan. Secondary was Minotaur. Xander. Damn. Xander said. Uh, Damn. What, what, vampire. <laughs> Uh, this is the this is the skin of a of a killer. Uh, Xander, what was your first one again? Uh, the Griffin. Griffin. That's right. Griffin and werewolf and uh, one Garrick Bartholomew mm -hmm. Eaton uh, said mm -hmm. uh, dragon Western specifically mm -hmm. and werewolf. Yes. Um, yes. Now the question is here, fellas, and this is the more the more important question here. What's Devin? <laughs> Now, hear me out. Hear me out. I, okay, hear say, me, I do hear me have out. I do have one off the top. Of I have I have a vote here. So. House elf. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you did him a little dirty. I, yeah, I, yeah. I, wasn't gonna, I wasn't gonna do him like that. I, I mean, hey, do him like house that. elves. House elves are powerful as fuck, dog. They just really like socks. <laughs> My size the vermilion beard. <laughs> And you both did it. You both did it. <laughs> there are a lot of times where I feel like me and Garrick are just of the same brain. <laughs> Surreal said, y'all going to be dumb like that? <laughs> <laughs> we are, dog. We are going he's, to. He's, you to Devin with the sock. <laughs> Devin's out tonight. We can do that if we want. We're, see, yeah. our Dude. main our main rules, we are number one rule here at, at, at Good Kraken, okay? You never talk shit about them to their face. <laughs> no, they can't always, be here to defend themselves. Always behind their back. Okay, uh, that's <laughs> yep. yeah, exactly. I'm seriously, I'm seriously no imagining different scenarios right now. Like he, he's like hanging out with Josh, and Josh gives him a present. Sir Josh, you've given me a thong. Thank you. Thong. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, from Josh to this, the man sent me a ski mask and Pokemon cards. Like, would a thong be a shocker of a gift? Uh, no, that's pretty no. spot on. Okay, pretty so spot I on. feel like we more should of a shocker all. If we should... a brand new one. Mm, mm, mm. So <laughs> we we should so all used. We should all we should all give our suggestion for Devin. Oh, of course, Devin. of course. So I would like mm -hmm. to hear what everybody's. G Garrick, it sounds like you're locked and loaded. Go ahead. Oh yeah, dude. I don't know why. Uh, in like. I, I I immediately like thought like a stone golem. Stone golem. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I mean we... like literally, literally just because like he is like I just for them like on like it, he brings out like quite a bit of personality for the podcast and stuff. But like if you just chill with Devin, he's a pretty quiet guy when he wants to be. Like yeah. Devin's very cool with just being. <clears throat> Right, but he's also not afraid to fuck your shit up, which is why the stone part comes into play, right? <laughs> because right. like stone golems will just chill, right, unless you provoke them, and then it's going to beat the fucking brakes off you. <laughs> right, right, and then uh, which is how then, I think of Devin. And then Kratos wears your rocks as armor. Uh, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> it's an honor. It's an like honor I don't know. That's it. just like how I. That's like Dev. I just like that's always like how I picture Devin, like serene until he doesn't need to be. Xander, what what do you think? What are you thinking? I'm still looking around for some reason, like a frost giant was coming to mind, but like 
not like an elder frost giant like a younger frost giant like if we were able to spend more time with the frost giants on jotunheim like see like a teenage frost giant that's still like hitting the fucking ice gym you know like trying to get his ice muscles built up ice gym. um but he's super chill about it like super, he doesn't he doesn't boast about it He's super chill, and, about and, he, the ice and he's gym. definitely and he and he's definitely not gonna like talk about his his uh his nice snow mullet, um or his five snow bitches. <laughs> well, no, uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, and he definitely will boast about it. <laughs> he's just like, yeah, Frost Giant Devin actually might do that. <laughs> yeah. Frost Giant Devin, yeah, Frost Giant Devin for sure. Yeah. For sure, I, I like the Stone Golden thing. I think I think the Frost Giant one fits really too. But if I'm going to give my girl, if I'm going to give my, my real answer, school was so thick. my real answer is oh, not actually Dobby. Okay, it's not that was that was just me doing Devin like his best friend. Okay, so uh, my actual answer, and I I thought about this for for a long time for all of us. Like, what kind of creatures I would like imagine us being, right? Like I, I mm-hmm. always pictured like like. Hold on. <clears throat> Do you have suggestions for all of us? Because I'm curious. Oh I'm yeah, curious. yeah, 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 yeah. For sure, for sure. Uh, I, I think I think Gar- Garrick's a, a shade. Garrick's definitely a shade. Uh, a shade. <laughs> Yeah, like a shadow creature that's like. I know what a shade is. Yeah. But I feel like, do you have a reasoning? You know, like. Yeah, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> uh, of course, I know him. He's me. <laughs> he's like, exactly. Uh, Xander's definitely like a high elf, right? Like he's definitely a high elf. Right. Like there's like there's he's there's definitely an elf. So, of some kind right right not dark elf yeah, mm-hmm. he's not quite dark elf yet no not drow no mm-hmm. yeah not 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 quite not quite uh i feel like i feel like genesee is a sprite genesee's definitely a sprite she's definitely oh, yeah, i can see that oh yeah i was gonna say Faye, but sprites better because Faye are really Faye are really conniving yeah, mm-hmm. Ge- that's just not genesee it's not that's not genesee so I feel like no sprite definitely is... definitely like a sprite mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. sprite Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I, can, I can pick up that. Uh, Devin, I would like to say, is one creature that is actually a D&D canon called a Rock Sasha. What is that? Rock Shasa. Mm, Sasha. Rock Shasa. <laughs> so they I are. Like I've heard that before. Uh, they are uh, a like humanoid tiger creature that is ah. extremely canny with spells. Uh, but they're specifically known because they have inverted thumbs on their hands in canon so like in lore and stuff like that their thumbs on the other side of their hands um they That's wild. typically come in like a bluish tint yes exactly but like like that with their thumbs like over here but they are extremely extremely keen to like spell casting they're like really fucking good at spell casting uh yeah like i've, I've always like just pictured Devin as like a humanoid like like cat or humanoid dog type you know what I mean? Like I like I really, 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 honestly, like thoroughly believe he would be something like that. <laughs> you know, not quite lizard. Devin like, has looked, wares if looked, you like. I looked up like an image of what it looks like in like the D and D reference of it. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's kind of a badass little fucking creature, dude. It's a, it's a dope looking, ill dope looking dude, dude. Devin has a 2008 Stratocaster for sale. <laughs> <laughs> He's never selling that thing again. He made that mistake once. He's never Rock. fucking doing it again, dude. He's Rock like, Sasha has wins. If you have coin. <laughs> it's just like, like this, this fucking thing right here is the dopest looking shit. Like, are you fucking kidding me? This dude right here is so fucking cool looking. Of course that's Devin, right? Of course that's Devin. It's got spells coming out of his fucking hands. Are you kidding me? Yeah, that's that it. one okay, that yeah. looks like the fucking uh, be a, the character be from... D&D um, looking shit. Mm-hmm. A D and D shade looks what, tight. <laughs> uh, what's that? What, what's that fighting game? The fighting game. Fuck. Um, Which one? <laughs> love that one. This is, there's only like three to be to be honest. Hundred. Um, <laughs> not yeah. not street. Soul not Caliber. street. Tekken. 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 <laughs> oh, you're talking about King. Tekken. King. Yeah. Uh, that's uh, a right. King from yeah. the wrestler. Yeah. Yeah. Which, by the way, uh, that's my one of my goals as like a cosplay. At some point, is to figure out how to get oh, I mean, uh, how to get dude. King, because uh, you can get. Can I, can his, I just like, be the drunken fighter? Oh, 
<laughs> Dude, well, so it's it's funny. It's funny. Well, he he knows he knows a few different things, but it's funny because there's there's one other character that I like told myself that like I would never cosplay ever until I found like a person that I could cosplay just like based on my looks, right? And I found one mm-hmm. gentleman in a video game way back when I had long hair and shit like that, that I was like, holy shit, this is it. This is the person I could totally, totally cosplay as. I think I fucking mm-hmm. found it, right? And I only found it because someone was like, bro, you look like this dude. And I was like, shut the fuck up, right? And I looked at it and I was like, holy fuck. <laughs> and that is one Bo Right show from Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Oh, fuck. Because, like... <laughs> yeah. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> like, that was me with long hair, dude. Like, I fucking... I hate everything. <laughs> like I mean, my, you could still, do, do, like, still do some of the other ones. So these... Like, because there's some there's some shorter hair uh, images I think I saw. No, it's just it's just because he's looking straight at the camera, so his hair is uh, like... Yeah, okay. he's got a pony, he's got a ponytail, but right here. Yeah. Got, like, look at, like, this, dude. This, like, <laughs> dude, right... <laughs> God <laughs> damn it! <laughs> God fucking damn it, dude. Look at that. Look at that. Well, See? Just See what I'm like, talking about? Drunken, drunken fist ass. See what I'm talking about? See what I'm talking about? But also, I'm, I'm shipping Xander doing... Uh, doing dick grayson now like i'm shipping xander being nightwing <laughs> well see like i i remember the reason i went with that too because i remember in the comic books seeing he kind of had he kind of had a little bit more of an asian look to him so to speak like are you fucking kidding um, me this is xander this is xander that's fucking xander dude like <laughs> like you could pull off Nightwing. <laughs> so, are you fucking oh, dude, kidding me? Dude, you honestly, you that's need Xander. To do, you should really do a Nightwing cosplay. You really should. You would get absolutely that or uh, uh, that or I was thinking also. And it's funny enough because I am a Marvel guy, but uh, I've also thought uh, Kyle Rayner, uh, Green Lantern. I like Xander. Mm-hmm. Are you seeing that cake? That's your cake, dude. That's your cake right there. OK, that's your cake. That's what I need. In a skimpy little whore outfit. <laughs> I have been do I have been going on the stairmaster a lot lately. <laughs> there you go. There I'm you not, go. not gonna like I'm actually like super fucking sore right now, so uh real quick, like tangent. Uh I finally said enough is enough and I'm back in the gym. Mm-hmm. Um I did two days in a row and then today was my rest day. I'm going back tomorrow. Um yeah, I'm yeah, I'm hurting, dude. <laughs> my muscles are not happy with me. They're like, Why the fuck you wake me up, dude? That's way to I do was it. sleeping good. That's what I do. <laughs> Cyril says, uh, I'm a DC fan. I love all Robins. I love Red Robins. Yum. Yum. Bro. <laughs> Yum. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, oh, uh, another tangent. What What do you get from Red Robin? What do I get from Red Robin? Oh, man. Um, well, I get, I get a few different things because Red Robin fucking fire. Yeah, you, had, you have one choice. It's what very mid-fire. Let me, let me excuse myself here. It's mid-fire. Okay, mid-fire. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's not the pinnacle, but it's it's pretty dang. Like, someone says, like, hey, you want to get Red Robin? Like, Fuck yeah, dude. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm down. I'm always down for some Red Robins. Um, I either get the Mushroom Swiss burger. Okay. Or uh, that California chicken sandwich. Uh, that's on the Kaiser bun. God fucking damn, is that sandwich good? God fucking damn. Sounds delicious. Mm-hmm. What about you, Xander? What about you? So I would, I always told myself I would get something new every time I go, but we usually that's go lie. like that's very, in, that's yeah, we go lie. very <laughs> infrequently. So every time we go, I'm always craving this one thing and it's the burn and love burger. Oh yeah, that's, that's a good one. Fried jalapeno corn, sauce made salsa, pepper jack cheese, lettuce, tomato, chipotle aioli, and then Cereal. they also came out with a scorpion burger too. Why do Why do I have to get out? I, that was a good choice. I had a good choice. Okay, that was good. Was, they're delicious. You know I'm saying, what do you get from Red Robin's gear? Oh, dude, I'm all about the bonsai burger. I fucking love grilled pineapple so goddamn fucking much, bro. I've been wanting burger. to try that one, but it's like, like I said, every time burger. we go. Mm, mm. You got. You got to oh, keep. Dude, that's like. You got to keep the toothpick in that one. Yeah, yeah, and like, yeah, you pretty much like up until you've got like the first half of it down, because like the way the, the other you're losing the pineapples. Otherwise, they'll whoop right on out of there. Yep. 
Yep. Now I'm. I think we've already touched on this, but you guys cut your. You don't get. You guys don't cut your burger. No Xander. Okay. No No, Xander. I was was asking for a friend. Oh yeah. You want to know why? You want to know why I don't cut my burger, Xander? Because you're not fourteen. Do. Because that mouth do. Okay. Do do. (laughs) Oh, I I know. That's why I'm visiting you first. Let's mm-hmm. go. Let's fucking go. You know what I'm saying? Let's fucking um, go. <laughs> to bring your it back to the Dungeons and Dragons. Your PB&J for you too, bro. Hey. Listen, I do it because I need to keep my hands clean because <laughs> I'm usually there with my fucking daughter and I got to clean her up. Or hear me out. Don't eat like a fucking dog. <laughs> Just like, like pinkies up, you know? Anyway, to go back to Dungeons and Dragons, <laughs> what classes would you guys pick? Oh, okay. So I can't, uh, yeah, I can't serenely answer this because I've had probably three different Dungeons and Dragons characters in my years. Um, I've done mm-hmm. a, uh, a, a Dro, uh, a Dro bar barbarian, I want to say. Um, and one other dude that was just like, uh, he was a human, but he was a bard that didn't know how to sing. And then my favorite character that I ever did was a, uh, <laughs> He was a monk gnome named Knack Knack, and he was an alcoholic. <laughs> and that was probably my favorite character I've ever made. I'm sorry, an alcoholic monk? How does alcoholic that check out? monk gnome. That's what he was. And it was fucking grand little uh, little run that we did. That was like a three-month run that we were going on adventures on. <laughs> Woo-wee, Knack Knack. I miss you, bud. I miss you, dude. What about you, Gary? Uh, I've had a few in like like the little homebrews and things that I've done. Uh, my druid is like one of my go tos always. Mm-hmm. Give, like anything, give me the ability to like shape shift, and I'm pretty much about it. Werewolves. Um, mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, I also went uh, I, I went a drow ranger for my original character mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. Drist is my boy. Uh, he's like the he's like his books are what got me into like the D and D world. So. Uh, yeah. That was my first. That was my first guy. Good picks. Good picks. Well, you, Xander, what do you what do you want for yourself for D and D? Huh? So I've been I've been doing a little bit of research here and there because I'm still waiting for that good Kraken Dungeon and Dragons, uh, fucking run. Mm-hmm. Um, but I'm like I'm like kind of torn. Like I'm I'm looking at Rogue. I'm like that's my vibe. I kind of like that. But then it also is. at the same and time, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you played a rogue at all, actually, because right now you can go to rogue <laughs> like, or... com and use code uh, G K R A K E. 10 percent off. Yeah, you can. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like I like how's that. I like how there's that little pause like, oh, they're staring at me now. Fuck. Um, <laughs> um, <laughs> You're looking. Uh, so I'm looking at rogue, but then also I feel like there are a lot of times where like you get a little too much uh, liquid courage in me and then I turn into a fucking bard. <laughs> I mean, theoretically, because it's D&D, theoretically, you can have traits for both. Uh, the be- mm-hmm. the beauty of D and D, and and that's gonna be that's gonna be the beauty of one uh, G and K. Whenever we decide to do it, uh, that's just the code name for now: G and K, uh, Goods and Krakens. Uh, <laughs> how about Giants and Krakens? It's called Giants and Krakens. That's that's fucking dope. I like that. I like that. That's fucking clever, right? Yeah, I see you, Garrick. I see you, I'm Giants fire. and Krakens. Let's I'm go. Fire. Uh, so um. <clears throat> You you can theoretically do like whatever you want with your character, as long as like the mm. D, the DM is like I'm down for that. That could tell a fucking great story. It's it's how you reenact that character that really makes it come to life, right? Because mm. like for for Knack Knack, like <laughs> Knack Knack, I was pretty consistently like like rolling dexterity initiatives in order for me to slap people's butt cheeks. Because he's an alcoholic, and because he's an alcoholic, I would get negatives on my dexterity rolls. <laughs> so I was constantly missing people's butt cheeks all the fucking time. <laughs> I'd go to slap their butt, and I'm like, ah, <laughs> and I talk like this <laughs> during all of the adventures. That was my knack knack voice. It was funny I enough. Would, so like, very similar to Butters. <laughs> Butters acting as a monk gnome. <laughs> yeah, 
Mm-hmm. I would sound. Uh, I would insist that my character uh, get naked every time they shape shift. Even though I didn't. <laughs> even though they don't. You do not need to. Like, and you have no need to remove your clothes. And like, I would none, roll. None. To, I would no. It like literally, it's a spell. Like, it just happens, mm-hmm. and you can shift back. Mm-hmm. But I would. I, I would insist. That my character got naked every time that I would shape shift, and I would roll to see how long yeah. it would take. <laughs> yeah, you would, dude. It, actually, it's it's funny. So, uh, me me and my friends, uh, I I taught a majority of my like high school friends like how to play D anD D, uh, and I was DMing for a majority of their stuff, and then I had another group that I was playing for rather than DMing because I needed a break sometimes. Uh, but after I introduced them to D anD D, I introduced them to Call of Cthulhu, which is a D anD D very where you play as a person who is surviving a galactic demon monster attack happening on Earth, basically. It's effectively kind of like Resident Evil, but instead of zombies, it's like creatures from another dimension. Uh, but that's, yeah, Cthulhu, right? You, you, oh, Stranger you, Things. Kind of, yeah. Basically Stranger yeah. Things, but adults, right? It's it's a fa- and, mm. and all the creatures, there's no upside down. They're on Earth. Like, they're here. <laughs> like, you have to do something about it. Uh, they but, made it! One of, one of my friends had a character that, in the midst of everything happening, he killed a bear, right? He killed a bear, got super oh, fucking, fucking lucky on the damage roll, super fucking lucky, and then refused to, like, leave the bear's carcass alone and had to make a hat out of the bear pelt. Like, and then he never like, refused to take it off for the rest of the fucking game. And like every time that we were like going to combat, he's like, I want to make sure my my bear hat's still on. And I was like, you're really going to pause this right now to do a hat check. And he was like, yeah. And I was like, all right. <laughs> like, well, fucking fine. We'll make it happen. Oh, Cyril says, why is my hydro broke? Because Esco just used it. Because Esco just used it earlier. That's why. It's called a cool down, motherfucker. Mm-hmm. Here you go, Cyril. We'll hydrate it anyways. Yeah, I'm only doing it because they're doing it. So, yo, uh, Geo weighed in on the mythological creature thing uh, for what he thought I would be. Oh, let's hear it. I because uh, I was like, you know, I told him just like, hey, I was like, I like sent him a picture of just like this is what Arnell thinks I'd be. And he like because like because Geo's like he's like my BFF, like my yeah, best friend right, forever, right. forever, right? Right, right. And so he's just like, nah, dude. He says I'd be a dumb fear, which oh. is. Uh, which, if you are D and D illiterate, that is, uh, they, it's basically it is the it's the hybrid between uh, a vampire and a mortal. Yes. Wow, interesting. Oh my god, dude! It's like blade, which is cool, and I think I think that'd be badass. It's a blade. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, kind <laughs> yeah. of. Yeah, it's 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 a day walker. It's a day walker. Yeah. Which is uh, uh, actually a nickname I had in high school, so that <laughs> tried that tracks. Well, that's uh, good. No. <laughs> Wait, hold on. They called, they called I dude, I straight up got called Daywalker in high school yeah. because of the South Park episode. Yeah, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah, that's the, fucking James, hilarious, the South Park, dude. the South Park Ginger episode <laughs> for the rest of my days, bro. So there's there's technically the the canon Daywalkers and and fucking D and D and such and. They do look <clears throat> pretty valiant. A little teaser thing here. So here's the classic daywalkers, right? Classic daywalkers. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But we also have dampiers. And dampiers were like daywalkers. Yeah, dampiers. Yeah, they're like on Damn crack. Pierce. But mm-hmm. fucking they were like, A. Were, yeah, they were like way more souped up. They were like, so like daywalkers were like tended to be in D&D. They're like more human than vampire. And Dampiers were like the other end. They're like more vampire than human. Oh, dude. Like, look at that. That's fucking cool looking, dude. Yeah, they're badass. <laughs> they're Sur- cool. <laughs> Surreal. Oh, wait, I thought gingers were already mythical creatures. See, the thing is, though, is that I wow. like that everybody knows me enough. I like that everybody around here knows me enough to like that they would identify me as something ridiculously fucking edgy. Like, <laughs> yeah, right, right. Ridiculously like, fucking edgy. So edgy. Like, so, so <laughs> goddamn like, edgy. <laughs> and not, love y'all. <laughs> yeah, oh no, of course. We love you too, dude. We gotta make sure that we're keeping on brand, just like you guys at home keep on brand, because this has been the Shipwreck Show, where once a week, every week, three of the Brethren Court gather together, discuss anything and everything the Seven Seas has thrown our 
way. If you're on this way, we can head on over to our Discord channel where you can submit questions and topics, get exclusive post-show content, and have early access to episodes before they go live on podcast and video services. But you can also support us by following or subscribing to Good Kraken right here at twitch.tv slash Show, or by subscribing to our YouTube channel by clicking the link in the details and description section below in order to get updates when new episodes go live everywhere. Everywhere. We got to hop on out of here, guys. But until next time, my friends, Mr. Porter gave me stocks. <laughs> <laughs> Rock Sasha is free! <laughs> <laughs>